Okay, that seemed like a great rate for the fan, a uh, great race for the fans today. How was it for you? <laughs> it was all right. Uh, I had a me and Liam were just kind of battling out. There wasn't anything on the course that was super technical, super yeah. tough. It was just tough generally all the way around. So it was hard to split it up. He was doing a lap, I was doing a lap, and then I was following and hit a tree stump, yeah. uh, and flatted, and it fixed itself. But I got to the feed to change it without losing any time. But uh, by the time I changed it, that opened the gap and uh, it kind of stayed about there. He added a little bit of time to it, which would suggest he's probably a little stronger today, but I think it would have just stayed together to the finish. And then we would have had a, probably some sort of elongated sprint probably or something. So, I mean, I, yeah, it's disappointing, but you, you have these problems. So I've won it five times, so yeah, you know. How, how about the course? Uh, this is a you know, new course, so how did you find the course? Yeah, I mean, it's not one for me. I'm a climber and there's no climbs. Uh, so yeah, but you, you have to race on what you've got. I mean, it's a tough course. It's just not climbing. It's very sticky underfoot. Uh, so it's yeah. I mean, it's not it's not uh, not ideal for me. But now it's a good course. Good prep, good preparation though for Beijing. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's good to have a race in terms of like it's going to be a bit harder than that riding around Beijing. I mean, Beijing is uh, certainly not flat. And and what are you going to do from here? What what now? More training, uh, or are you flying out to Beijing soon? got a few weeks training two and a half weeks and then we go to Beijing on the Friday the 8th uh, two weeks before the race so it's uh, yeah just training really okay uh, thanks Ollie that was great and well done on the race today cheers